Yeah. That's true. It's yeah. like the old monorail at Disneyland, right? It's Whatever like just works, goes right? around everywhere. I love it. Anything that it. works, anything that gets you anywhere quicker, yep. right? makes things easier for exactly. us. Exactly. Yep. A to the men. <laughs> and you know what? Yep. My kids think yeah. that that's the best ride at Disneyland. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I'm not oh, kidding. That's so sweet. Because <laughs> right? it goes nice and easy and slow. Yeah, right? but it's kind of like a roller coaster. Aww. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's so cute. It's kind of cute. <laughs> so, but that would be great, especially yeah. for LAX. I'll take it. I'm sure everybody down there on the ground will take it too. All right, you guys, we are getting a look at LAX where it is clear. We saw a warm day across Southern California. Wind advisories posted through 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon across the majority of the Southland. We're going to get to wind conditions in just a minute, but I will tell you we could see wind gusts up to 40 plus miles per hour across most of the Southland between now and then. 71 degrees earlier today in downtown, so we were above average again by a degree. And as we get a look at temperatures, right now you'll see 50s and 60s 64 as we head to Ontario 60 for Corona as we head to downtown 62 and 61 at LAX and as we check out wind conditions at the moment you'll see double digit wind speeds for Santa Clarita currently Malibu Hills Highland Corona and Laguna Beach but overall we are expecting that wind to pick up over the next few days as we check out our future cast here's the drill we've got high pressure moving in so that's going to bring warmer temperatures to us but it's also going to bring in those winds our offshore winds so we'll see that clockwise rotation around the high and those winds will push all of the cloud cover out to sea and that sinking air will again keep us warm, dry, and clear as we head into the next few days. Take a look at this. So we are in the 70s for tomorrow and then getting close to those 80s. In fact, could even hit 80 degrees potentially by Sunday. And then by Monday, we are clearer. By Tuesday, we are cooler. By Wednesday, another chance of rain approaching us. So yes, there is a chance on Wednesday. By Thursday, maybe a leftover shower, but overall we are drier. And for the IE high desert in the mountains, looks to be mostly dry for the IE, but for the high desert, we could see some showers come Wednesday into Thursday. And for the mountains, maybe some showers entering the picture Thursday. So not a huge rainmaker and not too widespread. But again, we are expecting widespread warm numbers, 70s, upper 70s, flirting with the 80s even by Monday could get there and nothing but sunshine by then as well. Back to you guys.